Hi everybody, this is Mirav, and today I'm going to teach you how to add a floating ad to your iJoomla ad agency backend. Now here's an example of floating ad. As you can see, it's, it's pretty flat. It doesn't look like a pop-up, but it's similar to a pop-up because it's, just, it's that, just there on top of the window. And you can give it any size you want, and you can put anything you want inside it. And here on top you will see that you have a close ad uh, link as well. So let's take a look and try to see if we can do this ad, make this ad on the back end. So on the back end, go to Add New Ads, Floating. Give it a descriptive title. iJoomla SEO Floating. Choose the advertiser. Keep approved if you want this uh, ad to already show on the website. Now here's a very interesting thing on the zone. Now, as you can see, this ad is not going to show inside any module position like any other zones. It's going to just float around. So what you need to do is you need to have a zone specifically for stuff like that. And this zone will have nothing but that. And put, place this zone somewhere that is not important, like at the bottom. You know, make it like an invisible zone. And the only purpose of the zone is to show uh, this ad. But the zone itself will not have the ad, it's going to float on top. Now in our case we only have one zone right now so we're going to select that, but uh, when you do it, just create a new zone and put it in a different position that you don't use it for anything and use that for floating and transition kind of ads and pop up as well. If you want this floating ad to show only in pages that have specific keywords, you can enter the keywords here, by uh, delimited by, by comma. Uh, you can also not use this feature at all if you don't want to. Now, the it depends on what keywords this page has in the title meta tags in order to display the, this ad. So, for example, if I enter SEO and the title meta tag of the page has SEO in it, it will show this floating ad. If not, it's not going to show it. Now, if you decide to use keywords, make sure that the zone is also have also have keywords activated in it. So I'm just going to delete it for now. Now properties is where you actually set the ad. So you want to give it a size. This is by pixels. So for example, I'm going to put 500 wide by say 400 height. And I'm going to give it a border. For example, in this case, I gave it a very thick border. I think it's about 10 pixels or more. And I'm going to give it a border color. You can choose one of those colors or you can enter your own. I like if you want something gray, like a light gray. So, D, 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 D. You, it's a good idea to memorize some of, the, some of the common colors you will use. The background color, I'm going to keep it as white. Now, the frequency, it just what it means, is it going to show every time they see this page or just once a day or once a week once a month or once a year you don't want to annoy your visitors so I recommend make it once a week that's why it's the default but you can make it anything you want now here the positioning you can choose either to do it by top and left or by bottom and right so right now it's uh, 288 from the top that's pixels so it's 288, you can see from here. And from the left, it's 459 pixels. This is the distance from here to here. Or you can delete those and enter something from the bottom. For example, 200 from the bottom and 500 from the right. So here's where you enter the actual text, which is what we see right here. So let's just copy it because we want to replicate it. So you have an HTML editor here and you can do whatever you want. You can, for example, choose the heading and it will use the heading that you have on your template. And you can enter anything you want and you can also enter images. So just select image. Basically, like, just like you create an article, there's nothing uh, special about it. Let's just choose the Joomla. 
actually I want to add an, add the, uh, an image that is relevant so I'm going to upload an image that I have already I'm going to click start upload and I'm going to find this image here it is and I'm going to set the alignment to the left and then click insert and this is how the ad looks like here it might look different on the front end depending on the style sheet of your template now on location I'm going to add the location if I want to if you want to show the ad on specific countries or cities or continents you can do so here and there are other videos to video tutorials you can click on this uh, link here to see a video tutorial that explains how to use this feature very important you have to set a campaign for this ad a, an ad without a campaign will never show on the site it has to have a container which is the campaign now here it's showing the campaigns for this particular advertiser and you can select uh, any of the campaigns right now we only have one so we're going to select this campaign and we're going to click save and here it is is the ad we just added and you can make any changes that you want you can see impressions, clicks, and click through right here. And every time you want to access this ad, you can al always do that from the managers, ad managers. And you'll find it here again. So, this is it about how to add a floating ad to a Joomla ad agency backend. Thanks for watching.